heard the tape? Have you heard his words, sir? People at work may have heard the tape. You want to hear it? I have it. I don't want to hear it. He never heard the racist remarks made by an off-duty officer out at a local bar, but tonight, for the first time, you will, as L.A.'s police chief takes heat for the punishment he handed down. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Harvey. And I'm Paul Majors. It's a story you'll see only on CBS2. For the first time, we're hearing an LAPD officer's racist remarks captured on a deputy's recorder. Investigative reporter David Goldstein has the audio and reaction to it. It happened outside this bar in Norco in 2012, a conversation recorded by a Riverside Sheriff's deputy's tape recorder. According to the police report obtained by CBS2 News, 33-year-old Sean Hillman, an LAPD officer who was off duty, got in an argument with approximately five black male adults and is heard on a tape recording referring to one as a monkey. Yeah, I'm watching this monkey that we arrested 500 times. He's a full blown broly. He looks like little Wayne. Reach for a waistband under his shirt, trying to intimidate me. And there's more. The security guard at the bar said Hillman began arguing with the men, calling them the N word. What was he saying to him? This that. I mean, why all of them were? I mean, the whole, uh, we heard him, you know, he, 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 he tried claiming, well, they were coming at me, but no, they weren't. They were, they were upset because you're calling them. That the whole time. Hillman is the nephew of former LAPD Deputy Chief Mike Hillman. His father was also a police officer. During an LAPD disciplinary hearing, Hillman allegedly denied making any racial remarks. He also allegedly lied about the incident to LAPD investigators, which included pulling out his weapon, according to a security guard. The next thing I know, he's saying he's got a gun. I go, if you have a gun, keep it wherever it's at. They say I turn around, he's got Thing pointed if I turn around basically in my face. I mean, I can't believe you pull a gun. In the disciplinary board, Hillman also denied being drunk, but to deputies that night, he said he consumed beer and that he was, we're covering up the first word, but it goes with up. Afterwards, Hillman is heard refusing any field sobriety tests. We refuse and deny. So just put me back at him in the scope. Okay. Is he willing, be willing to uh, submit to a no. I'm to a pre preliminary alcohol screen test? Okay. According to the report, Hillman became defensive and stated he should not have to submit to a test because he's a cop and he should get special treatment. And moments later, Hillman was released. The Riverside Sheriff's Department says there wasn't enough evidence to charge him with a crime. An LAPD disciplinary board voted to fire Hillman because of the incident. But Chief Charlie Beck reduced that to a 65-day suspension without ever listening to Hillman's words. Have you heard the tape? Have you heard his words, sir? People at work for me have heard the tape. You want to hear it? I have it. I don't want to hear it. This is a uh, very serious infraction, I think, and I think the chief should hear it personally. L.A. City Councilman Curran Price listened. Like it sort of brings the, um, the hatred home. He thinks Hillman deserves more discipline, perhaps even being fired. He needs to be held accountable for the action. I'm not convinced that uh, merely docking his pay was enough. The chief defends his actions and denies favoritism. Should police officers be using these words, whether on duty or off duty? Of course they shouldn't. That's why there was a significant penalty attached. Absolutely they should not. And so we attach a penalty that is relevant to the offense. Don't bring black people and don't come. Despite the harsh criticism that Donald Sterling received after that tape became public, Beck says he stands by his decision not to fire Hillman. Do you think this is something, once the public hears this tape, that you should revisit? Well, first of all, I can't revisit it. You know, there are very specific laws not general practices, laws about the uh, how you deal with police officers and discipline. We follow those laws. I can't reverse things that would already been done. Yes, suddenly he should be fired. That's an old saying, if you lie, you fry. These veteran African-American LAPD officers disagreed with the chief's decision and wanted to speak with us if we kept their identities a secret. If he lied to internal affairs, what says he didn't lie on arrest reports when he arrested somebody that's black? Is this someone that you could work with out in the streets? Susan's question? Hell no. I would not trust him. L.A. Police Commission President Steve Soboroff also disagreed with Chief Beck's decision, but as of now, it's final. David Goldstein, CBS2 News. In addition to his 65-day suspension, Hillman was also ordered to seek substance abuse counseling.